Actually, that's a that's a simile, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Simile using like or as. Welcome to the educational hour here on Steamboat <laughs> Comedy Podcast. <laughs> yes. Wait, tell us about a simile again. I believe it's when you use the word like or as to compare things. Yes. And if you don't, then it's a metaphor. Mm. Like if I were to say you are like a toad, that's a simile. But if I say <laughs> you're a Rude. toad. Why that's are you looking at Andy? <laughs> 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 you fucking toad. Oh, <laughs> welcome to the Steamboat Comedy Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I am Kyle Ruff with you yet again, and I am joined with some special friends from out of town. Came in to do a good show with us. We'll just go right around. I've got Corey David Hello. Right in front of me. A special Coming friend. Special friend. Yeah. The most special of friends. Not special needs, but just unique. <laughs> yes, joining <laughs> us yet again. And then, going around, we have Mr. Andy Hamilton. Say hello. Hi. There he is. Hi. <laughs> really pizzazz. Really really like pizzazz a, he's like right a now. toad. He's the <laughs> My toad like he, friend. Andy, Andy is a toad. <laughs> yes, no, that's, that's a, a simile. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's, that, a that's, that's a metaphor. I'm like a toad. That's the simile. That's the simile. Okay. You'd you look go. more like a toad if you had like a straw hat or something like that. <laughs> what? I could tell he was a toad because he was wearing a straw hat. Mr. Toad had like a hat and he had like overalls. But didn't one of them have the floppy ear hat like he has? I feel. I'm, maybe I'm mixing it. I'm not totally off on this, so the fact that you're, you're not totally by off. It, yeah, I'm gonna take your word for it, and also introduce <laughs> Google, Google that Bridget Callahan. Say hello. Hello, everyone. Now use a simile to describe her. <laughs> she is like an angel. Aw, oh. thanks. Aww. I get towed. What a she gets angel. <laughs> Dirt angel. Trash what a, bag what angel. What a cop out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That is a serious cop out for sure. <laughs> that was a big time cop out. You've seen me in a lot of states this weekend. I feel like if you're going with yeah. angel, you're yeah. just yeah. vomiting angelically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've all got a little angelic, if that's the criteria, is vomiting. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, is that I the new word for throwing up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just I a vomit very playing gracefully. in the background. I do. <laughs> Sounds like a chorus of angels in that bathroom. <laughs> 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 yeah, you guys went pretty hard this weekend. Yeah, yeah. fuck. Well, as uh, everyone in America knows, there's a, a certain virus going around that's a bit of a deal. And uh, they just shut down Steamboat Resort last night. So being unemployed, naturally, myself and all my coworkers went to the bar and got completely shit-faced. Way to lean into a stereotype of unemployed people. <laughs> 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 we right? spend all of our free time getting boozed up. Exactly. Well, Hi. There's going to be a lot of babies nine months from now. I'm saying that. I'm calling it. And yeah. if, you, if you guys are trying to instigate some orgies, now would be the time to do it. Now because the these time. people are scared and they want to get fucked the last couple times. Because when <laughs> self-isolation is the recommended advice, just touch everyone and all strangers. Yeah, just they're going to do it. I mean... Everyone's panicking. So it's no foreplay? Fuck. You think that's the safest way? Yeah, no foreplay. Honestly, just probably is, right? Just like get it in there. <laughs> yeah, no just kissing. get down to business. Old school, you know? through a sheet. Keep <laughs> it safe. <laughs> yeah. Keep it safe. Maybe You're we made Mormon, fun of the sheets. That, right? It's like a whole body dental day. Maybe the sheet <laughs> was actually there for pre preventing illness. You don't know. So I got this sleeping bag, right? We're going to cut a hole. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> double bag it, two condoms. I already cut a hole in your sleeping bag, Corey. Thank you. Yeah. Think ahead. Now I have two. <laughs> Got one for the front well, and the back. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Andy, if anybody knows about fucking in Steamboat, it's you, man. You've been a hot commodity since we've been here. Oh, yeah, that's bud. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I'm a hot boy. Men, women, <laughs> beasts. Yeah. They've all yeah. wanted a piece. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just a special number, yeah. you know, dancing down the street. A tall toad. Mm. A, tall, a, tall, a big, <laughs> handsome toad. The, the, the tallest toad around. I think we some, got, get an amber alert. Yeah, right I, think now? So, I think you got an amber alert. That I think a call from Chicago. I'm going to ignore that. Oh, somebody's listening to us from Chicago. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> we got our first caller. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Put him on the air. I thought it was an Amber Alert. Somebody found out about the kid in your basement. Yeah, hey, well, this is Ned <laughs> Ned Schneebly calling in from Chicago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> first time caller, long time listener. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I imagine Chicago is just like a chaotic prison. Oh God, yeah. Oh, it's really a frenzy. It sounds like everybody that's in a major city is losing their shit right now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I know New York seems like a a complete zoo. I kind of don't want to go back to a major city. Like, I haven't been in a major city You guys in a can minute. just stay here forever. Yeah. yeah. You can live in my basement with the kid. We'll live off the land. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's so many jobs yeah. here now. <laughs> yeah, right. We're yeah. just going to be hunting Labradoodles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, there's a big population here. <laughs> it's open season, baby. <laughs> <laughs> or any kind of doodle, actually. But 
Labradoodle tastes the best, though. Yeah, they got the best. Labradoodle meat. does, especially the, the chocolate ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and also they're um, not hypoallergenic. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> they're all hypoallergenic when you take their skin off, babe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But true. haven't you been uh, vegetarian for like two weeks now? Yeah, exactly. But um, once the apocalypse, uh, th- that doesn't include dog. Yeah. I'll eat yeah. dog, no question. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah, sure. Yeah. A delicacy is a delicacy. You don't want to be rude. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You're in the town where it's a thing. You don't want people exactly. to think you're too good to eat their dog, you know? <laughs> people pissed. Well, so other things to talk about. We recently did a comedy show mm-hmm. that, uh, you know, not a huge crowd due to the coronavirus, but still a great time. Is this your way of saying I'm not a draw? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a bad crowd, considering it was a yeah. pandemic. It was yeah. I mean, crowd. there was about, I don't know, 30, between 30 and 40 people there. Sure. That's not bad. Including an old Danish couple. An old, yeah, they were. Was uh, there an old Danish couple? I yeah, didn't the older them. couple that was sitting like to the left. Wow. But, yeah, yeah, they were Danish. So who knows if they were even understood yeah. the, like, what we were saying about licking butts. and. <laughs> they were commenting a little bit during the earlier sets. Yeah, it was a lot of encouraging things, too. You know, they're like, oh, like. Yeah, we sure are, and stuff like that. Yeah, just what you need, a pep talk. Yeah, yeah. Like, thanks, to, thanks, bud. To break the silence. <laughs> <laughs> it can't help. But yeah, no, I thought it was a great time. We had a lot of fun. Um, yeah. What would you think of the storytelling show that we did on uh, Thursday? Oh, yeah, so that was a new thing. We, <laughs> we tried out a new uh, uh, This Is Not Happening storytelling show. It was interesting. I think a lot of people were kind of... Uh, thrown off just because we hadn't really done anything like that before i think a few a few people told stories that went on a little too long a few people just basically just did their set and called it a story but uh i mean it was fun i had a good time there was a great turnout for that one mm-hmm. uh, people were a little rowdy though quite rowdy yeah that's quite my rowdy problem. indeed um next time you gotta you gotta light people you gotta have Five to eight minutes and a hard light at yeah. five, and you finish up and you get the fuck off. Right. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I kind of was like, everyone just like keep it between five and ten, and they were like, okay. And I took their word for it that they had like, never take anyone's yeah. word. Yeah. Nobody has any it. comprehension of how long those stories actually take. Right. Yeah, exactly. And when you're up in the moment, there, you don't, you lose. Time. Yeah. You're ad libbing, coming up yeah. with new stuff, throwing out Jamaican accents that yeah. nobody, yeah, nobody pretty, thinks are appropriate. Long. <laughs> hey. <laughs> We're still in a mountain town. <laughs> Give it five years and it will be unacceptable like it is everywhere else. You tried to kidnap somebody's dog, so I mean I'd say that's the highlight of the show. <laughs> that dog wanted to be kidnapped. That was and <laughs> Yeah, th- I wish you'd let me perform with the dog. Yeah. That she dog just came up onto stage and she was like, I'm up here now. I was like, you it, the only way you can be up here is if you bring your fucking dog up here. And she was <laughs> I will not. <laughs> that woman didn't need a microphone. She was yelling no. at the top of her lungs whatever yeah. she wanted. She was also probably the drunkest woman in Colorado that night. Nope. I couldn't I tell. Was there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe top five. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but there was a little Pomeranian that was running around during the show, and it just had the blissful ignorance look on its face of just like, anybody take me, please. Yeah. Yeah. Did you Anyone? see the weird robotic thing it kept doing? Like what? The people at the table and I were noticing this. So it would be sitting on its butt, and it would just shift itself like a quarter, like 90 degrees, uh, and just like, it was just shifting very weird and regularly on its axis, so it was just twirling around in the same it spot. It was like a OCD, a tick for the dog. Yeah, it's like when you see cats like trying to wipe the worms out of their ass, but without the movement, mm. like just like in one spot. It's so <laughs> weird. It was presenting itself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We had uh, my grandfather. I wanted to tell this story, but I didn't have time. It's not really a story. It's more of just like a a, uh, a thing when we were kids. So my grandfather had three Pomeranians over the course of his life and they were all morbidly obese and they were all named Muffin. (laughs) (laughs) As soon as one would die, he would get a new one that wasn't fat. He would get it fat. Like so fat that it could barely crawl up the three stairs to get into his trailer. (laughs) (laughs) And he just named all of them Muffins. Muffin 1 was great. Muffin 2 was an asshole. Did he call them Muffin 1, 2, and 3 or they were just Muffin? No, but we knew. (laughs) (laughs) He didn't do the old switcheroo where he's like, this is the same dog, guys. Yeah, Yeah, nothing's wrong with Muffin. He seems a little more ornery than he used to. (laughs) And he looks a little bit different. Did he change his hairstyle Uh, a little bit? He's also 35 years old. That's pretty (laughs) old. (laughs) Well, he's a small dog. Those small dogs live a long time. Forever. Yeah, anybody that has a big fat Pomeranian like that, I think just wants a stuffed animal that they can talk to. (laughs) (laughs) That's pretty much what it is. I think that's all small dogs. Have you guys ever had uh, uh, an animal secretly replaced when it died? 
No. No. I yes. assume you have. Uh, no, and I haven't either. Oh. <laughs> That's I have. a fun question. My no, parents tried I to play too. off a gerbil. It did not work. <laughs> it wasn't even same the same color. Happened, same it was. It was kind of the hamster. same color, but like I'm not a fucking idiot. Even when I was like five, you know. Well, saying. this is yeah. what happened. We were out of town, and this other family were like, "Watch the hamster for us." Okay, we will. Hamster dies. They just replace it. No problem. When we come back, I was like, "Wow, my hamster be- used to be so nice and cuddly, and now he just bites me all the time." <laughs> <laughs> That's a little strange. Yeah. <laughs> what did you guys do to him? <laughs> Maybe it was the same hamster. Yeah, we had we had Richard Deere stay at our house for a week. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> he was the one watching the hamster, so that's why he was so fucking fierce. <laughs> uh, I never had this switch room, but one time our dog ran away, and then four years later they told us that they just had it put down. And we're like, oh, yeah, it did run away. My mom did that, too. She told us all that our dog got stolen because we lived in, like, inner city Cleveland. And, like, technically someone could have stolen the dog out of the yard, but right. there's no way. But that's less traumatic, no. right? Yeah, yeah right? Like, like, where oh, does no, that... the dog didn't die. Somebody took it yeah. and is doing things with it. <laughs> someone yeah, that gives it. you a whole different kind of fucking neurosis. But maybe like, he's still <laughs> out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need to go yeah. rescue him. My boss uh, lives in Loveland, Colorado, uh, for my day job, and Loveland is just like just north of Denver, about forty minutes or so. And he lives in a like newer neighborhood, so they have a Facebook page for their uh, homeowners like association uh-huh. or whatever. Yeah. And apparently there was a coyote. It's still probably out there that was just cherry picking people's dogs oh left boy. and right. Yeah. And somebody had posted about it, and they were like, "We got to do something about this." And then of course that was somebody's opportunity to be like, "Well, maybe you should be a better dog owner. Oh, you yeah. shouldn't just let yeah. your boy." That's how you start a war and it did yeah yeah Yeah. just piled and piled and piled on and i mean it got so bad that the coyote actually took a dog while two kids were playing with it like outside in their backyard that's a ballsy ass coyote and then somebody had the gall to be like well you don't know that it's eating them i'm like yeah (laughs) (laughs) you're right i'm sure this is a real it's just it's liberated it's a real (laughs) it's like a wolf back out there with one coyote as the leader there's a real charles manson situation we've got going on no you're right i'm sure this dog is just dread this coyote is just dragging them away and fucking them (laughs) And then having the dogs do its bidding out in the world. (laughs) Making them kill famous actors actresses. There's just one coyote with a swastika (laughs) on its forehead Mm -hmm. giving out directions. I begged and pleaded with him to let me make a fake Facebook account and let me into the group as the coyote. (laughs) (laughs) He would not. I bugged him about it for like a week. Oh my God, that'd be so funny. (sighs) Could have been my chance. Could have been my big break. Yeah. (laughs) Selfish. It seems like that's the thing now. Like every suburban neighborhood has like a Facebook group now where they all air their grievances. Yeah. Wasn't that my brother is in the live studio audience actually? Didn't didn't you have some kind of thing like that? People were bitching in your neighborhood group about yeah. something. They are they're all over. <laughs> yeah, it was my ex girlfriend. Oh yeah, it was your ex girlfriend. <laughs> what was like, she bitching about? Uh, oh, no, she um she was uh she's in like the nanny for like the family that just put it down. Uh huh. I don't stay in contact with her. Oh yeah, jump on the mic. Yeah, so I don't I don't talk to her much, but uh, get closer. I, don't I, sit I next heard, to me. I heard through. <laughs> uh, yeah, so these Facebook groups are hilarious, but the, the make one it, of this fancy make it quick, Brad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not a professional. Non comic. Okay, I'm, try, I'm trying my best. Non comics. Brevity is not a strong. The point story. is, <laughs> the point is, is that someone reported the van that she was living in in their driveway, and they're like, "What is this creepy thing?" Like on the Facebook group, and she responded like, "Oh, it's just me. I'm not creepy." <laughs> and they're like, "It's confirmed creepy." Telltale sign. <laughs> Hey, yeah. did, did you? You're supposed to Google stuff for us. Did Mr. Toad wear a straw hat or not? Oh yeah, uh, pull that up, Jamie. You, he did not. He did yeah, not. Mr. Toad did not. He maybe he wore a top hat. You're off the show. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever contradict me. Are you talking to me, me or Brad? <laughs> Brad. <laughs> oh, wait, uh, we got a Google image. That's a straw hat. What are you talking about? That's what, not. That, a, is that Mr. Like toad? That's, that's just a generic. That's, a straw hat. that's just a generic yeah, hatted straw. toad. Of course, there's. Even if it's not Mr. Toad, this is a toad person. Yeah. Yeah. Garden (laughs) centers across the world are filled with toads wearing straw hats. Uh, Okay. Yes. I'll chalk it up as a win. Well, yeah, we'll call (laughs) it it, (laughs) it, a straw hat. Wasn't there a story of some guy like uh, gluing sombreros to the top of frogs' heads or salamanders' heads or something? No, somebody put cowboy hats on pigeons in Vegas. I like that. He glued them on? 
Well, that seems a little harsh. Oh. That's a little <laughs> bit rough. Yeah. I, I don't know how he got him to stay on. <laughs> I think they had little, he tied them on. Little strings? Yeah. So yeah. I think it's that actually kind of worse because the glue would eventually paid off, but the string is probably Jeez. choking just just yeah, choke him to yeah. death. Personally fitted new era hats for all yeah. the pigeons <laughs> in Las Vegas. <laughs> They're you flex gotta, fit, so yeah, it's coming. You got to teach them how to take them on and off. Yeah, and they were promoting the new sports correctly. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So for all the people the that screen. can't see this, we are looking at a picture of exactly what we just described to you. <laughs> a pigeon with a hat. What kind of hat is that? Would you call it like a sombrero? I'd call it a bachelor Solid party, cowboy. bachelorette Solid party. Solid cowboy? Yeah. It's, it's, a it's, it's a bachelorette it's party. It's, it's a bachelorette party. Stetson. This show is brought to you by <laughs> FM Light and Sun. <laughs> <laughs> FM Light and Local Sons. steamboat favorite. Get all your pigeon hats Dude. in one place. FM license sons. Come FM on. license. Give it credit. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's better when you say it the third time. Yeah. <laughs> well, they haven't heard it before, dude. Uh, Andy thought that one was going to go over a lot better at the show. I did, it. too. <laughs> it was good. I thought it was tight. And it was right on point with the fucking neighborhood. Yeah. But. I well, Alas. I had an FM Light and Sons joke in my set too, and and when I did the local show this summer, that one killed. But then to a bunch of people from out of town, they were just like, "What are you talking?" How about? can they not know? There's seventeen thousand signs. There's you can't come into Steamboat without knowing who they oh, are. Oh yeah, we counted. If you go from I think between here and Kremling, there's twenty eight. Something like that. Handmade yellow signs for FM Light and Sons. So Neat. Was you Pretty that interesting. told me that they replace them every year? Somebody point told me that they're not actually old. They just put them up every like spring, and then winter here just like destroys them. So even though they look like they've been there for 100 years, they've actually just been there since last year. Really? That yeah. would take so much time. I know. And also, why that wouldn't you print better signs? Oh, that doesn't seem true, but 100 years of the same paper signed in the I middle mean, of a ranch seems true. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the signs are not made of paper. They're painted wood. Yeah, I, I don't think know. that. And uh, you don't. You think that that would look that good? I, mean, well, I don't think that they need to replace them every year. I Maybe think they replace them somewhere between them one and a hundred years. Yeah, <laughs> somewhere <laughs> in, the, in the range. Somewhere in that span. So I mean, the store was a little underwhelming to me. I actually was yeah. anticipating a little more. They sell cowboy hats. They sell boots. They Lots sell of like boots. all that western stuff. Mm. But I was expecting more of a hat selection. Like we were gonna walk in, and it was gonna be like the hats back to the front. Yeah, front yeah. to back, left, right, all that uh -huh. stuff. We tried them on though. I don't think you probably looked the best, to be honest. And he's got a face for cowboy uh, hats. I'm a hat yeah. man. Yeah. That's why he's yeah, so popular. Toad hat kind of guy. Yeah. Toad hat <laughs> kind of guy. <laughs> yeah. And my or point like continues to be like more clear. <laughs> if I was going to draw Andy as a cartoon animal, maybe a mule with like a really long uh, oh, face. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> And the compliment to big, got big buck teeth, <laughs> long face, <laughs> kind of stupid looking, cross-eyed. Thanks for that. Stink lines coming off you. Yeah. yeah. All that good stuff. I think that's fair. Y'all <laughs> really hate yeah. on mules way more than I meant to. I like mules. Mules are cute. Uh, uh, they're very okay. strong. Mules, I think, uh, generally in population, are not considered a cute animal. Strong worker, <laughs> though. Very strong. A strong yes. worker. Andy, and if that's I've, why I'm definitely not a mule. <laughs> if I think of anything when I look at you, it's that you can pull things. <laughs> <laughs> just strap something to my back, and I'm going to move it. <laughs> just it's just a coincidence on. that he uses a feed bag for every meal. <laughs> <laughs> it's convenient. Then you can keep working. You never have to stop. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Good yeah. for ski lessons. So yeah. I th I thought about this uh, when we were mentioning like just putting obscure objects on uh, things that animals. are just yeah like animals and pigeons. whatnot. I don't know why this came to me, but I took an art class in college because I'm sophisticated, and there was an artist that used to uh, just take old paintings, like old Western paintings and old scenery, old scenery of mountains and stuff, and then he would draw or paint a cowboy and an Indian having sex somewhere in the scene <laughs> and then put it back out into distribution to see if anybody noticed. Like really <laughs> small, like a Where's Waldo type yeah. situation? Yeah, very small. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. Great. It would just be an Indian just getting pounded out or vice versa. Mm. Actually, saying, I think it was, it was a lot top. of... No, I think the Indian was off in the top. It was a message it was kind of deal. So it was, yeah. all, it was all men. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't... Okay. It was a lot of dudes. Yeah. Dude sex. Yeah. I like that. It's one of my... I like taking... <laughs> I like getting like the really... What is the name of the guy who writes the he draws the really flowery cottages? Um, Bob Ross? No, Kincaid, Thomas Kincaid. Oh, okay. So like that kind of shit, like those kind of prints from the thrift store, and then like covering them. We have that one in our old house that we oh, do yeah, the yeah. graffiti along the canal walls, and it actually I I don't I think they look really cool. Oh, but it'd look a lot better if there was a, a Native yeah American I hadn't thought about cowboy. adding the porn element. Oh yeah, yeah. not gonna lie, I thought I thought you were gonna go Bernstein Bears on that one for the flowery cottages. I thought it was the same guy. No. 
No, you guys ever, did you guys ever read the Bernstein? Yeah, oh, yeah. Constantly, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Oh, yeah. All right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys know the conspiracy about the Berenstein Bears. There's a conspiracy? Yes. No. There's like a There's a there's a Mandela effect. Yeah. There's Think some sort it. of two different names yeah. came up. And it's everyone some people remembers remember it, it this way. Some people remember it a different so way. So I remember it as the Berenstein Bears. With it, yeah, but it yeah. Does, it's not. But Berenstein. it's not. It's actually just Bernstein Bears. Yeah. 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 I don't understand what's happening. So you're, you're, when you said it, you said <laughs> now Baren- talk to me like I'm an idiot. You said Berenstein, right? B e r e n. So talk to me normal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not Berenstein. It's Bernstein. Yeah. But so, but there's like a Berenstein sounds more Jewish. Well, that but that's the, <laughs> yes. everyone remembers it as Berenstein because oh, we really? all yeah, and I it's don't. not. Yeah. You just said it. I said uh, Bernstein Bears. Yeah, you said it right the first time. Did you? I said Bernstein I didn't even bears. hear it correctly yeah. right the first time. Yeah, that's... Uh, so like, what's the conspiracy? What the fuck are these well, bears just up to? Do you know effect. like what the Mandela effect is? It's like... This a, talk to me like, like I'm an Okay, so it's... Brad should be Googling this right now, but you start talking about all it. All right, yeah. Brad yeah. will confirm. But the Mandela effect is this... Uh, it's basically describing a social phenomenon it's where when you everyone, go to prison for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you come, come out, back you and you're the leader of a president. country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What it's was a the, pretty rare the effect, honestly. <laughs> 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 There's only one there was confirmed like a case Sinbad in history. Genie movie, and that, that's the big famous Mandela effect that everybody oh, remembers. Oh, yeah. There, there's, there's a couple different things, but basically it's when everyone, like group think, remembers a certain thing one way, but it really was the opposite. And it's named after Mandela because basically everyone in South Africa remembers when Nelson Mandela died, except for... He didn't die, right? Hmm. And so, like the this thing is, everyone remembers the Berenstein Bears, but in reality, it's not the Berenstein Bears. Man, that's kind of a bummer if everybody thinks you're dead and you're not, huh? Yeah, right. Is he still alive? Is he? He's got to be old. That's as That's another no. thing Brad needs to Google. No, that's when Mandela Brad. passed away. Because I, I remember it was like Brad. Are we getting the Mandela, <laughs> the Mandela <laughs> effect <laughs> right now? <laughs> Are we being? Because <laughs> I feel like it was a big thing, like South African rugby. There was like a whole thing. 2013. Okay, yeah, confirmed. Yeah, that's why he's on the yeah. five dollar bill for the U.S. <laughs> for the US. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For they're the like, United "Fuck States. Lincoln, get out of here." You had your yeah. time. Who was Lincoln? <laughs> <laughs> Another Mandela effect happening. <laughs> Yeah, he's not dead, right? <laughs> no. Right? That'd be a real bummer. It's going like, <laughs> to be a long drive home. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a lot of sobbing. Boy, have I got some news for you. <laughs> I think he's alive. I just Every saw time a I documentary. Pick up a penny, I start crying. Oh, yeah. But I saw a documentary. He was killing vampires. That was only like five years ago, oh, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where would the world be without him? <laughs> Full of vampires, I yeah. swear. Be a whole other pandemic. Anyway. So, are you uh, trying to tell me we got off topic? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even Did know what the topic, topic was. I, yeah, no, I think we're pretty much just doing it. Yeah. But the show's up here. It's, it's nice to be able to do comedy up here and be able to like ski and snowboard during the day and then check out the town because it really is an awesome place to be. Yeah, it really is. And the mountain is great. First time skiing here. Really enjoyed it. We yeah, brought uh, Bradley over there through the ringer. It was pretty amusing. Yeah, your brother <laughs> double ejected on some really <laughs> steep terrain. <laughs> And he even thought to himself, I bet Brad's going to crash here. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I skied down, I was like, oh, God, this is the, the classic, you know, downswell, super steep to flat. Yep. So you just get that compression. I turned around and I see Brad walking back uphill. <laughs> <laughs> you know, poles in hand, you know, postal. And that's a classic sight. Right that there. was over by uh, Morningside going down that yeah, way, right? It was going Straight through the fucking trees. Yeah. Yeah. It was a fun day. It was, fun, it was a fun half hour. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, will I remember it. Yep. But it was amazing. We had that sleigh ride dinner last night. Bridget finally got to get up to the top of the mountain. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, that was super cool. Yeah. That was my highlight was going in the gondola for sure. Heck yeah, this yeah. podcast brought to you by Ragnar's. Yeah. You can see us there the next bi- winter. The business you can't go to. <laughs> yeah, you can't go to for eight months or more. But when it's open, it's worth it. When Is that open? cowboy singer just killing it with these old ladies? What's his name non-stop? again? Oh, I'm sure. John Gibbs. Gil- Gibbs. Shout out to John Gibbs. I He's a very attractive nice. man. Bridget disagrees. Bridget I, did not. He wasn't what? a vibe for Bridget. So, okay, first He's of all. He's so beautiful. He's a rugged, I have a really old, hard time being attracted He's to any guy over 40. I, I'm never attracted to guys over 40. Mm. So there's that. Uh, that's not Gibbs's fault, right? Uh, also, kind just not into the... <laughs> He's the one who went in age. Like <laughs> yeah. Not into the weathered cowboy look. No? No. More of a, more into the city boys? 
No, no. What uh, is the what is the vibe? I'm more into the I tattooed like Brazilian jiu jitsu yeah, fighter that you're gonna yeah. go on a date with That's when we get back to, <laughs> to Denver. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's the it. I like the really tattooed. broy guys. I like really broy guys really? who are not bro. Yeah, it's been disastrous for my dating yeah, life. Yeah, sounds <laughs> awful. <laughs> uh, sounds like I like stability. I like those chubby ginger southern guys who just drink beer on boats all day and uh, chubby ginger southern. Yeah, guys. they're not actually fat, but they they got that like. That Look layer, Earth. that layer of good living on them, like, right. like a yeah. dead. They used to be a high school football player, and then they, right. and that is that was their peak. I like ex <laughs> high school football. <laughs> <players>. <laughs> their bo- their body type is biscuits and gravy. Yeah, <laughs> biscuits and gravy with Which an Irish dick that doesn't work. You know, <laughs> yeah. That sounds like you are just living your best life. Yeah. I've seen on more like casting call sheets when they're looking for character types. They, the thing that's been coming up a lot recently is a James Corden type. I'm like, that's kind of mean. Kind of mean, but just highly accurate. Nice. James Corden is my type. Sure. But yeah. I'm just saying like a, jo- yeah. a, jo- a jovial, not fat, but not skinny, got a mm. little husk to him. You're the little, you're the sarcastic sidekick guy who's not the, the main hero in the romantic story, right? So. <laughs> yeah, you're my, the funny friend. My yeah, mom funny wa- friend. My mom once described me as stumpy and doesn't understand why that's not a compliment. <laughs> oh, you are kind of stumpy, though. <laughs> Alright, we don't gotta pile it on. <laughs> stumpy. <laughs> She like we, we were on a hike. I was on a hike with my brothers, and they were on speakerphone, and she didn't know that. And she was just like, "Well, just make sure you don't walk that fast." And then my brother, <laughs> my older brother, was like, "Why wouldn't you want to do that?" And she's like, "Well, you know your brother; he's a little stumpy." <laughs> <laughs> Aren't your other brothers stumpy as well? They're a little more slender than I am, but I've got a stockier build for sure. A stumpy. But you're, you're the stumpiest height. of the brothers. Yeah. But you've yeah. got an excellent base of gravity, right? Yeah. yeah. He looks Low hard to tip over. He does yeah. look hard to tip over. Listen to that, ladies. A strong base. <laughs> 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 or listen to that man as yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> right? Never underestimate a predictable center of gravity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kyle, yeah. how would you describe your body type? My body? Uh, perfect. I, <laughs> I think it right, that like was a cop out, <laughs> and you clearly haven't done any self analyzing. <laughs> I'm just gonna remain ignorant. He uh, actually uses a funhouse yeah. mirror. <laughs> <laughs> How tall do you think you are, Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> he's been a, he's been Six foot, obviously. <laughs> yeah, now uh, my body type. If I went uh, off of what everyone would say to me on the football field, it'd be a uh, little bitch. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was. That was the number you one shirt. You went from too generous guy. to too harsh. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Somewhere you between perfect and little bitch. We wanted a friend, friendly ribby. Although you are the only 30-year-old man that I see that has little notches on his door. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going down. Yeah, one of these season, days. Yeah, each season I get a little taller. Listen, there's, you may, there's you a may be a little bitch, top, Kyle. And there's a horizontal notch. Did you guys see his arm muscles, though? Fucking really impressive. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah he's growing I, sideways. I, yeah, that's, that's all I got. Yeah, pretty soon you'll be stumpy too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working my way up to stump. We'll see. I think he looks like he grew up on the banks of the Brandywine River. Just call him a hobbit? Yes. Okay. <laughs> sweet Brandywine. That's sweet Brandywine. <laughs> yeah, I need to start growing my feet for that one. But other than that, I'm, I got the hairiness at least. Yeah, just, just start pulling on your toes. I'm sure that'll work. Yeah, Pull every on night. Toes. Every yeah. night. I just want to be big. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be a hobbit. Yep. I think that's that's my body type. Are we are we going around? Are we all describing our body types? No. That's totally no, 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 obviously. No, no, no. Do and that. no. I'm good <laughs> on that. Next. Yeah, go ahead. Do Bridget. I look like a middle aged forty year old woman. <laughs> I have <laughs> and I have since I was twelve. So. <laughs> well, yeah. at least you're consistent. Yeah. yeah. This changed. is my time frame now, actually. Yeah. Now that I'm 40, I feel like I've actually grown into my body. <laughs> <laughs> now I can just be fat and sloppy and nobody gives a shit because no one's trying to fuck a four-year-old. There you go. Yeah, it's amazing. Except for a, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu Except guy. for a lot of guys I shouldn't be fucking <laughs> Yeah. All right. That's a, very middle, that's a very middle-aged woman thing to do, too, I think. All your moms. All your moms. Not learn, having not learn from your mistakes. It's a very middle-aged woman <laughs> thing to do. I haven't made this mistake yet. No. I'm just looking for new mistakes to make. Maybe I've learned from all the other ones and they were boring. It could be. You can always upgrade your mistakes. Yeah. You have plenty of time. Well, I'm sure the choke play is going to be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had sex while in a Kimura? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, tell me what a Kimura is because I think maybe yeah. It's uh, some I'm type of submission. Hey, Brad. Uh, <laughs> I, was trying, I was trying to picture it. How do you spell it? Uh, K I M O. Oh, is it Gamora? K- no, that's Sodom in oh. Gamora. K- that's, K- a, that's a Bible I-M-O-R-A? thing. Yeah, Sodom, that's a position she's probably done before. 
Oh, wow. Hey. Shots, Shots fired. fired. You get it. Well, that's something <laughs> yeah. you two have in common. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Butt pew, stuff. Pew, 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 pew. I've never actually done Which butt is perfectly stuff. It's like my second virginity out. I'm holding on to. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. someday you'll find a special guy. Yeah. People pay big yeah. money for that. They sure do. Yeah, yeah. I for believe. the first butt. <laughs> for the first, <laughs> the butt, first, yeah. first shot in the butt. 55 year old broke freelance writer, first butt. $50,000. Yeah, but I mean, if you've been saving it to 50, that's good. Yeah. You know, that makes it That's even more aged special. like a fine wine, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, guys. <laughs> more of a Merlot, musky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you or a gin? port. <laughs> 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 that's a that's vinegar, a metaphor. guys. It's vinegar. It's at this a dessert point. wine. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's great. I did have a new story about butts this weekend that I thought was a big hit that came to fruition. That oh yeah, really nice. yeah. I like that one a lot. That's yeah, a yeah. One. Well, we were writing like we were at a coffee shop the other day, like two days ago. Was it yesterday? No, it was yesterday. Two right? days ago. Two days ago, and we were doing some writing, and it just kind of like started making parallels to like the fact that the vagina and the butthole are like so close together. And I'm like, what are two other things that are kind of like that? And the immediate thing that came to mind was San Diego and Tijuana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a great Zapped. analogy. That's a metaphor, right? That's a metaphor. No, it's an analogy. Is it an, an analogy, analogy or a metaphor? I guess it could be, depending on how you present it, it's a Dude, metaphor. Dude, I don't even know what a noun is. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find a Kimura? You look like you found a Kimura. Is it, is it Indian, sort of? No. No, <laughs> no it's a Brazilian <laughs> jiu-jitsu move. Brad just asked if it was, I- that's a dashiki. That sells Indian stuff. Oh, Kimura Retail. Come All right, so <laughs> <laughs> Brad, we figured out that you're not the best Google searcher. <laughs> <laughs> you had one job. All right, you guys keep talking. I'm going to look it up. Oh, boy. Well, I was going to say, I was going to ask you guys, um, have you heard anything or do you have any expectations for what the uh, the comedy scene back in the city is going to look like when you head back to it today? I know that if I leave my house, apparently I'm going to get uh, shamed on Twitter for <laughs> seven weeks. Oh, some. yeah. The people are going, like, comedians like to get super sensitive. Like, the moment they take a position, they just double down on it. Like, yeah. I'm going to kill you if you don't do this. And that that's Fuck. the vibe I'm getting now. I is. think that people are going to continue doing open mics and yeah. shit like that. And I personally am probably just going to avoid that a little bit. I think I'm just going to yeah. lay low this week. It's been a mixed bag. Like, I've got stuff that's been canceled, and then I've got stuff that's still on. But as we've kind of figured out, it's gonna it's a day-by-day kind of deal i'm not going to be surprised if stuff starts getting axed and what happens with flights and whatever else like i just had a whole trip to texas get canceled wow yeah so that's not great but and then i'm in chicago at the end of march and two of those shows have already got canceled so i'm just waiting just just waiting for the hammer to drop but hoping for the best yeah but then a part of it too is it's like well should i be hoping that these shows stay like uh, uh, continue you know should i be hoping that they're still booked and that i can still do them because part of Part of me feels like, are we contributing to the pandemic or the whole problem? I'm convinced that I already got it back in December, honestly. <laughs> um, I'm No, I'm serious. I was really sick. I thought I had the flu, and I had a fever, and it was bad, and that was in December. And you cannot tell me that this thing has not been floating around the States since November. Yeah, I mean, you it's know? definitely possible. Yeah, so I'm, I'm convinced I already had it. But there's no way I'd have to get an antibodies test, and I don't have insurance, and I'm not paying for <laughs> that shit. So. All we could hope for is that this eliminates all of the bad open micers that are going to be going out anyway. <laughs> no, Those are the ones yeah. who are going to survive. It's going to eliminate all the magicians. That's the age group that we're looking yeah. at. Yeah. My mom uh, told me not to go to any open mic. She was like, please, please stop doing comedy. And I was like, yeah, why don't you stop volunteering at the prison, 75-year-old lady? <laughs> oh, stop going to church. You know, That's what everyone should be doing. I thought you were going to say your mom told you you should stop dating magicians. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have to say that. She raised She's properly. been saying that for yeah. years. She hasn't stopped her. <laughs> would never date a magician take that back <laughs> you should see what he does with a hat oh <laughs> no yeah i uh we're gonna keep everyone posted here we have open mic scheduled for tuesday at the whiskey company but i don't i haven't talked with management there i don't really know if we're gonna keep the steamboat comedy open mics going or not um We'll see. Well, this has been a fun topic. Yeah. I think that <laughs> brought down all we need to do is everyone just needs to bring their own microphone and uh, mic stand and speaker, mm-hmm. and then you can just shuffle it through there. And mm-hmm. as long as you did ever stand close to anybody, we can continue to operate as normal. So it really or is more like a music mic where everybody does their yeah. own equipment. <laughs> yeah. We could get everybody doing like a like a video conference open mic. We could just move everything online. Just do like a Twitch stream or something yeah, of open mic go. comedians. Yeah, then everybody can say the things that they really want to in an open yeah, mic that because they're behind out. a keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They've yeah. got to fuck it. Who is this Norman the Conqueror character? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I shouldn't have released my secret <laughs> tag. Oh, you can still damn. see your picture in the avatar. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that plan fell apart. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, hopefully, comedy is one of those things that uh, seems to continue no matter what happens. You know, people are just desperate for money and attention, so they're gonna keep the shows going if they can. Yep. Yeah, I mean, if nothing else, we got plenty of time to crank out some more Steamboat Comedy Podcasts. That's yeah. for sure. You can do everything in here. You should do like a live show from uh, from your room. That People could be. People just do their sets. You should get really Gibbs funny, in here actually. and find out if he'll fuck Andy, because Andy really I wants can't that. Yeah, can we go Gibbs? back to how yeah. hot that cowboy was? <laughs> Jesus back Christ. To the cowboy. It was a fun night. This guy was hooting and hollering. Andy had a great request. What was the song you requested? Peace Train? No. Uh, well, no, I wish I had. I, <laughs> the Rocky Mountain High. Colorado. So. Oh, yeah. That was a hit. Everybody loved it. That guy was clapping. <laughs> the other guy at the other time, he was like, yeah! He was really digging it. I mean, that is like... You guys also Colorado said you would disown me if, uh, if I recommended or requested uh, Wasn't Me by Shaggy. No, he said he would <laughs> no. nod you. I said I would yeah. talk to you again. Yeah. That's not fair. Who... Are you kidding me? We're at the top of a mountain. There's be... a cowboy playing guitar, and you wouldn't pay to see him do Shaggy. That, that would be incredible. It nope. would be incredible. Because it'd be stuck in my head for the Especially rest of the trip. Especially if he just pulled it off. He was like, oh, yeah. yeah he I didn't even like look it up or anything. He's... Just does that thing where he tunes his guitar a little <laughs> yeah. bit, puts it into drop D or something. <laughs> yeah. And then just goes right into Jamaican voice yeah, like exactly. Shaggy. No, that's why Drew would have come in. He would have <laughs> he burst, <laughs> burst out of the kitchen, the guy that did the Jamaican voice the other night. Yep. It wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, that's the song. How does the uh, sing a little bit of it? Oh, my mama, you 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 my mama, Sitting with the girl next door. It's not sitting. They were, they were, <laughs> sitting, fucking, fucking yeah. they with were the not sitting. Next door. <laughs> if anything, she was sitting on his face. Yeah. yeah. Which is maybe why his voice is so mumbled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, there, there it is. is. Oh, we're going to get there pulled you go, off finally. YouTube now. Thanks a lot, <laughs> yeah, Jamie. Way to, way to demonetize the account. <laughs> yeah, right. I was going to make 30 cents off this <laughs> podcast. and kiss that goodbye. <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck happened to Shaggy? What happened to Shaggy? I'm sure he died, it, remember? The Mandela <laughs> effect. <laughs> <laughs> we all remember, right? All right. So I uh, just want to once again say thank you to you guys for coming out. We got to do this again sometime. Yeah, thanks a lot for having us, man. Yeah, right. it's you really treated You know, Steamboat treated us fantastically. Oh, my God. We got so much hookups. We were fucking blackout drunk for free for two days straight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't we don't have any money, but we can pull some strings here. That's kind of the uh, the steamboat way. That's what they say in the tampon biz. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, that's Gotta two for two. Folks. <laughs> 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 All right. We guys got any uh, parting words? Any things you want to promote or? Yeah. Follow me on Twitter, Bridget Callahan. Bridget Callahan on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram, Android Hamiltron. Android Hamiltron. Uh, Instagram is fake Corey David with Corey's with a K. There you yeah. go. I guess my Instagram is look, it's Kyle. I guess. <laughs> I think guess was- if you're asking, who's <laughs> asking? No. Uh, I also I've got a podcast as well called Rotate. It's uh, Rotating Tap Comedy. My friend Steve Vanderplug and I interview and talk to people that work at different breweries around Denver, uh, like brewmasters, owners, uh, sales managers, tap room managers, things like that. So it's a comedy focused craft beer podcast. That's, That's pretty cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, check that out. Well, sick. Yeah, keep following us at uh, SteamboatComedy.com and all that stuff. We'll let you know what's going on amidst the pandemic as far as more open mics and shows go. Uh, it's but podcast world now. It's podcast world, yeah. So great. Appreciate you guys for listening. Thanks, man. Thanks. Shortest Thank podcast you. ever. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> See ya.